Hey, what's up guys? Dale Abella here with eXp Realty. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, what we do on my channel is we go over all the new build communities here in Las Vegas. So if this is something you're interested in, do me a favor guys, hit the subscribe button, the like button, the notification button. That way you stay up to date with all the newest communities here in Las Vegas. Alright guys, today we are on the southwest side of Las Vegas and I know I feel like the past couple of videos I've been uh, doing tours on the southwest side but I mean it's pretty close to home so it's pretty convenient but uh, today we're going to be touring this KB community. It's called Belcara. Now the closest cross streets is right over there. It's going to be Decatur and um, Silverado Ranch. So we're only about 10 to 15 minutes away from the airport. Um, the things you guys need to know about this community here is the HOA is $59 a month. The average lot square feet is 3,500. There's 128 homes here. The lot premiums are about 4,000 on average, okay? And right here, I'm gonna actually, they offer seven different floor plans and I'll post it up on the screen so you can take a look. But yeah, we'll be touring these two homes today. So um, it's gonna be the model 1998 and then the 2469, which is their best selling model. So let's take a look. Welcome to the model 1998. So this is gonna be two story, four bedrooms, two and a half bath, two car garage, and the base price is 409,990. Again, what's gonna be included guys, you're gonna get this paver driveway, you're gonna get the desert landscaping with the driplet system. Now this is actually KB, one of their newer models available. Um, they added, from what I see here, they added a couple of different new floor plans, like the 1998, the 1590 couple of new ones all right welcome in welcome in okay so this is what you see as soon as you walk in now right over there to the corner you're gonna have the powder room okay so you got your toilet pedestal sink your upgraded um, faucet black faucet there and then right here you're gonna have your coat closet Okay. Actually, I really do like the flooring in here. It's really nice. Now the standard flooring is gonna be the ceramic tile, the 17 by 17, which is only gonna be in the wet areas, okay? So that's gonna actually be for most builders. So you're gonna get that ceramic tile, it's gonna be in the kitchen, bathroom, laundry room, and the entryway. Now immediately, what I noticed in this model is they didn't do the upgraded nine foot ceiling. So right here, you see the eight foot ceilings. It's kind of hard to um, see on video, but um, one of the upgrades that I highly recommend is, is upgrading the first floor to the nine foot ceilings. It definitely opens it up a bit. It adds value. And um, I think it's about like $6,000. So not too bad. So this is the kitchen. Now, what we're looking at over here so we got the upgraded countertop. We have the upgraded cabinets. Um, looks like the oven, the microwave is standard. And then again, the washer, dryer, refrigerator is not included with a builder. But yeah, this is a nice uh, big kitchen island. Now you can upgrade, this is upgraded because normally it'll end actually right over here. So if you want to extend it out, you definitely do that right so <clears throat> standard would be the double basin sink this is the uh, stainless steel single basin sink a lot of times when they have this black faucet here they'll do the black sink right and then um, your countertop so this is upgraded you would have a uh, granite countertop and it would come up to like See how this comes up to like about like four inches like that? That's how it would be. Also, you have the option to um, upgrade, get backsplash if you like. 
These cabinets are 42 inch cabinets. So that is also upgraded as well. Let's check out this pantry. Honestly, pretty good size pantry. I feel like you really don't need for, you know, your pantry to be really big unless you have a really big family. Yes, beautiful layout, very open. So this layout is actually, I mean, I'll, we'll check out the 2469 model. This is very similar to the 2469. Okay. Oh, and guys, once you, um, if you do upgrade to the nine foot ceiling, your slider is already going to be upgraded to the eight foot slider. So since this, this, this is just the eight foot ceiling, you have like, this is going to be what? Six, seven slider. Okay, let's check out the backyard. Now, when you move into your new build, everything is just going to be a dirt lot and um, you'll have up to a year to actually fix your backyard. Okay, so a lot. Now again, you guys, the average lot square feet here in this community is going to be about 3,500, which is uh, fairly typical with, you know, these KB homes. So if you're looking for a new build with a big backyard, I mean, KB, it, it really depends. Some of their lots might have it, um, but for the most part, they're about 3,500. Okay, I like that. So you get a lot of natural lighting here. Got the three big windows, the slider. Really nice. Okay. And then this stair railing right here. So this is upgraded. You guys, you have, you could upgrade it. They're, they have plenty of choices in design studio, but if you want, you could have a pony wall right here. That'd be standard. If you don't want to spend any money for the stair rail. So as soon as you walk up, so you have this little loft right here and that's the primary bedroom. You have your laundry room. And then you're going to have your three bedrooms over here. Okay. So let's take a look. So this is bedroom number one. Okay. So this bedroom, this bedroom is more like a 10 by 10. Yeah, that means twin size bed. Not too much walking room there. I mean, it's cool. It does have a, make sure you get your walk-in closet, right? Okay. <clears throat> That's the transfer grill right there. So that just makes it so, you know, <clears throat> during the winter time, it doesn't stay too warm in one room. It just regulates the airflow. And then we have the two bedrooms right over here. Okay. Yeah, so all these bedrooms actually are gonna be pretty much the same size. So these bedrooms are gonna be like your standard 10 by 10 bedrooms. Yeah, because this is a queen, right? And yeah, it definitely takes up like the whole room. You got your standard closet. And then this is the bathroom. So this is the full bath. You have the dual sinks, graded white shaker cabinets, and um, that flooring, upgraded flooring. Okay. So this shower tub combo is standard. So this is what you would get if you didn't want to upgrade. Okay. Now the hardware, the black hardware is upgraded, but this uh, fiberglass shower tub combo is standard. Right. We have a cozy little loft right here. And this be your washer and dryer. Room again, guys, the washer and dryer is not included. So um, KB does offer the washer and dryer. 
So you can buy it with a builder and the price is actually pretty competitive with uh, the stores. So this is the uh, smart panel box. So this is gonna be for your internet, your router, your modem. And then uh, you have the attic access right over there. Welcome to the primary bedroom. So this is the king size bed. Plenty of room here. Okay, so you got the two large windows to the side, which is nice. You're gonna get a lot of that light that comes in. Okay. This is just the view of the community. See that's uh South Point over there. Yeah, and if you're wondering, I know a lot of my videos, uh, you can see South Point right out the window. That's because they have a lot of communities over in this location, close to South Point. Okay, so this is the primary bath right here. So that's gonna be the walk-in closet. Now you have now this is the upgraded shower right here. Um, otherwise you get the shower tub combo. And I believe to do this shower like this would be um, it's close to 5,000. Okay, so we also have your dual sinks. Okay, your toilet room and then your walk-in closet. All right. Cool, yeah, for me, for being, uh, what, 1998 square feet, just under 2,000, um, four bedrooms. I mean, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I mean, the rooms are, <clears throat> rooms are okay in size. But I mean, they definitely, the downstairs is nice. And um, yeah, I mean, the rooms aren't the greatest when it comes to space, but uh, it's pretty functional. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Okay, welcome to the model 2469. Now this is um, two story, four to five bedrooms, two and, a half ba two and a half to four baths, two car garage, and the base price is starting at 439,990. So this is gonna be KB's top selling model right here. So let us go ahead and take a look. And then also you guys, if you decide um, you're interested in a new build and you wanna visit the new build community, uh, make sure you take your realtor with you on your very first visit. Um, that way, you know, you can let them know you're being represented because if you go there without a representation, they won't let you be represented later on, okay? And, you definitely want to have somebody that is working for you. Um, you know, the new builds are agents work for the builder. So but anyways, back to the tour. So uh, immediately here we have like the nine foot ceiling. Okay. Uh, this is an upgrade I highly recommend because it adds value. It opens things up. I think it's about like $6,000 to do it. So it's not too bad. So right over here, you're going to have your den. Now with the den, you actually have the option to convert this into a fifth bedroom. Now, if you do that, this half bath is gonna be a full bath. Um, I highly recommend this as well because, um, you know, especially for like resale purposes, um, houses with a bedroom downstairs is always a plus and it always adds value. But yeah, it'll be close to $5,000 to turn this into a full bed and have this be the full bath. So, got your pedestal sink, your toilet. Now this flooring is a slight upgrade with the flooring. Again, what's standard, standard flooring for most build, new builds is gonna be the, uh, you're gonna have the flooring that's gonna be in the wet areas. So it's the uh, kitchen, washer, dryer, Entryway, bathroom, it's gonna be the 17 by 17 ceramic tile. And here is the floor plan. 
okay? So open concept here. Um, now with KB homes, normally with their model houses, they always have one that's has a lot of upgrades and the other one, they went with standard options. So this one, I mean, the nine foot ceiling is upgraded, but as far as like the cabinets, so these cabinets are, uh, these are standard right here. The color is, um, the quartz here. I believe that is, this is standard. I think you could choose granite or this type of quartz right here. So it's just your, um, tier one quartz. The oven microwave is included. Now the cabinets, just the size, I think the 36 inch cabinets is a standard and you can upgrade it to the 42 inch. Okay. Also, we got the refrigerator here. Again, um, doesn't come with a refrigerator, washer, dryer. So you could buy this with a builder. Um, they sell it at a pretty good price too. So it's pretty competitive with the retail stores. And then uh, you could also choose to upgrade and have some cabinets right here at the top. Yeah, because right now it looks like, <clears throat> I don't know, looks like, it just feels like something's missing up there. So kind of like that upgrade. So you got your pantry. Okay. So you have a lot of Lighting that's gonna come into the house. You got this window, you got the large slider. You have those three windows. Another window right there. Now, if you automatically upgrade to the nine foot ceilings, you'll have the eight foot slider. And then you'll also have the eight foot door. All right. Let's take a look at the upstairs. So again, guys, stair rail, you would have your um, your pony wall. Now I think this is like the, the next level upgrade that you could upgrade the stair rail into. Um, they have different options, different tiers. So as soon as you walk up, you have this nice big loft right here. Uh, you're gonna have your three bedrooms right over there laundry room and primary uh, bedroom right there. Okay, we also got the transfer grills. So it regulates the airflow in the house. Okay, so our bedroom number one, now this has walk-in closet. See, this is a full-size bed. It's pretty spacious. So the other bedroom, it's about the same size. Okay. Now upstairs, you're gonna have a uh, eight foot ceiling. And, and if, if you wanted to upgrade to the nine, I don't think that's an option actually. I think it's just the eight foot upstairs. So this is your large um, guest room. Now this is the walk-in closet. Um, <clears throat> there is also an option to have this be a full bath and then your closet would be right over there. I think that's about 5,000 to do that. Roughly. Okay, so this room will always face the front of the house. Right, so you got your full bath that these three bedrooms are gonna share. So you got the dual sinks. Um, now for the bathroom, this is this is the included quartz, okay, for the bathroom. And this is the included tile right here. So this is what would be standard downstairs. And then you have your standard uh, hardware here. Fiber glove, fiber, fiberglass, shower tub combo. Okay, so you have your uh, thermostat right here that controls the upstairs.
you have your attic access up there you can upgrade and have cabinets in here if you'd like you could buy the washer and dryer through the builder okay so you have your linen closet now an upgrade that a lot of people like to do is you have this single door right here you can actually have it the double door which is nice um, your linen closet would be a, just a little bit smaller Primary right bed. So yeah, plenty of space, a lot of space in this bedroom. So if you did have the double doors here, that means you just have, if you have a setup like this, you just have to push your TV a little bit to the right. Um. Also here with the baseboards, the baseboards are upgraded. So <clears throat> standard is gonna be like a three, three and a half inch baseboards. Those look like four, I'm gonna say. So we're gonna have your walk-in closet right here, plenty of space. And then this is gonna be your full bath. Okay, so everything you see here is standard. So this is actually, uh, if you get a KB house and you're wondering what standard looks like, I don't know, maybe you could save this video just so you could kind of see. It's gonna be this type of quartz. I don't know if you can see that design. Um, this is the faucet. This is gonna be the sink. This is the included sinks. Okay, um, this is the standard shower tub combo as well. And then have your linen closet. All right, that's about it guys. Let me know what you think of this floor plan in the comments below.